So here is the battery and my, my MPPT solar controller. And there's a little Victron cutoff over there that's redundant because there's a BMS down here. Anyway, um, these three cells are, were supposed to be 150 amp hours, and, the, and they probably roughly are. Um, this cell was unmatched. The vendor sold me an unmatched cell. And so this battery has been uh, causing... It, it doesn't have anywhere near the capacity that it should. And I want to test and see how much capacity it has left. So I've connected this uh, battery monitor to it. And you can see that three of our cells are 3.33, uh, 3.34. But then there's this guy that's 3.48. And that is this guy right here. Um, so what I'm going to do right now, I want to see... Uh, I want to see how much uh, capacity is left. And so, well, actually, before I turn all that stuff on, let's show you. If you come over here, I've got this nice battery meter. And uh, so it says I've got 120 amp hours. That's a setting that I programmed in. Um, and it says it's getting a little bit of charge from the solar panel. Um, and so I'm going to shut the solar panel off so it's not getting anything from the panel. And, uh, and I'm going to turn on everything. You can see right now we're, we're drawing, it says we're drawing pretty much nothing. The only thing that's pulling power right now is this, uh, video camera that I've got in, in here. It tells me if people have broken in. Anyway, I'm going to flip all these switches on, everybody but the porch. Turn the TV on. Um, turn all these lights on. Um, what else? Oh, yeah, the fan. The fan draws a lot of energy. So we'll turn that on. And you can see that now we're, now we're drawing 6.7 amps. Let's turn on another fan in, in the bathroom and turn on the bathroom light. There we go. And now we're drawing 8.3. Let's turn these backlights on. Whoops. And now we're up to, well, we're, those are LED <laughs> lights, so they really don't use much. But this is, this is the killer. I'm gonna turn the refrigerator on and I'm gonna switch it over to battery. And watch, bam. Even heard the fan slow down a little bit. And so now we're pulling 24 amps. So when I come back, I'm just gonna look at this number right here and see what it is. We started at 120. And so whatever the difference is between 120 and, and, and when the power shuts down is gonna be the capacity of the, uh, of the bad cell. So it's been an hour, and uh, you can see our BMS is doing a great job. Uh, you know, we've pulled in a number of amp hours that the BMS can, or that that uh, questionable cell can handle right now. So it's in its happy space. And I got TVs on and fridge on, and we're pulling 22.2 amps and we're down to 96.1 amp hours left. So we'll come back in an hour and see what uh, what's going on. So now it's been two hours and the BMS is still doing a good job. We got 3.25 and 3.26. So that's pretty good. Um, I'm not gonna monitor this all night. Um, so I think so we're down to 74.9 amp hours left, which means we've got used about 45 amp hours. Um, and I'm just going to leave all this stuff on overnight. And but I've discovered that the uh, it does not end well <laughs> if you're drawing all this current. I'm going to switch the. Uh, I'm going to switch the refrigerator over to gas and I'm going to turn it off. As I tend to blow fuses if the fridge is on 12 volt and I, I bring the power back up uh, the next day. So 
we'll see what this goes down to overnight. Um, and we'll see how many amp hours we, we have. So it's been a little over 12 hours that the, it, the electrical system literally just shut down now. And um, hopefully you can see this. So the uh, questionable cell is very confusing because it says 2.9. 2.91 is that top cell that I thought was having trouble. And the other guys are 2.57, 2.6, and 2.71. Um, so now I'm a little confused and I'm left wondering if that cell is anywhere near as bad as I thought it was. Um, I should have done this test before I bought a new battery rather than after because the new battery coming in is 100 amp hour and if we go over here and we look at our our panel look at that we got it stopped at 0.2 amp hours which means that this this battery still has 120 amp hour capacity oh so i probably shouldn't have bought a new battery hindsight is 2020 right